Hello, I've never done a video like this, but I got this product to test and I thought, why not? It is the this Vessel, VSSL Vessel 8.1 audio player for a single zone. It comes in this little box that's got all your connections on the back. It has mounting holes for mounting on a wall. It's got removable feet for that. They're magnetic. You can put two of them side by side in a rack or in a standard AV cabinet. You can mount it on a wall behind a TV. Put it anywhere you want. And let's check it out. The first thing you have to know about this is that unlike Sonos and Heos and other competitive products, it is not app based in that they don't have their own app you have to use to run. You use your standard phone app. Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, Tidal, Deezer, any of these other apps. And you use AirPlay 2 or Chromecast to send to it. This one has Bluetooth as well and you can also sync with DLNA to your local hard drive to play. So let's take a look at the hardware. On the back we have a Phoenix connector for your speaker outputs. You have a line level subwoofer output, analog preamp, analog input, two different digital inputs, and different two digital outputs. You also have a two port ethernet switch input output so you don't eat up your network ports and power. Let's talk about the specs. It does two channels at 35 watts into 8 ohms and 50 watts into 4 ohms. That doesn't seem like a lot of power but it's plenty of power. Um, we're not doing reference level theater here, we're doing music, right? So I have it connected to a couple Sony speakers and a subwoofer in my room, which is about 16 foot square. And I can't even take the volume past halfway without it being way too loud. It has AirPlay 2, so if you connect multiple of these in your house or any other airplay speaker or receiver. You can play to any one or all of them from airplay. Along the front side you have a power light for when the zone is on and a network indicator light. In the setup app for the vessel you can turn on dark mode to turn those off. So if you do have this behind your TV it's not going to cast light on the wall behind the TV. So to set it up you just connect your connections, open up the Vessel app on your phone, it'll find the Vessel product and then ask you to set up in Google Home app. The Google Home app is the app that will do most of the setup. And the first thing I need to mention here is that it says it's Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz dual antenna MIMO and I can't figure out how to set up Wi-Fi. It's not in the app, it's not in Google Home, and when I unplug the Ethernet port, it's not on Wi-Fi. So that is interesting. It's not in the manual on how to do it or on the knowledge base on the website. You need to figure that out. In the box, it also comes with an IR receiver with the long cable, so you can have control with a third-party remote like your TV remote from your cable company or your TV remote from the TV or any other remote remotely. So if you have it in your cabinet you have the window outside the cabinet and you can control the volume. In addition to controlling it with the phone you can control it with Crestron, Control 4 or other third-party control systems. I have a Control 4 here and I'm going to give that a try but I haven't done it yet, so it's not in the video. You can also control the system with Google Home Voice or Siri Voice, and they say Alexa's coming, but it's not here yet. 
what I really like about this product is its form factor. If you take the feet off, it does have wall mounting connections. So you can just mount that on the wall behind your TV. It's a little bit over one and a half inches tall. So you can't do a thin mount. You can always put it in a in-wall box behind the TV. But if you put it on behind your TV, you just plug in your digital input from your TV, use your TV remote for volume, and you're good to go. Plus, then you can just stream to it with AirPlay 2 and power a pair of speakers, have a subwoofer on there too, if you like that, and you're ready to go. Put one in each room of your house if you want, behind every TV, and you can group them. You can play party mode type music if you have people over. And I think that's fantastic. This little thing is so small and easy to set up that I really want to use this in like my kitchen. Put it up above the cabinetry and you can't see it. Put a couple speakers up, up there and you're ready to go. Because it has Bluetooth, you can also connect your laptop or desktop computer to it for your computer audio and it's still part of your home audio system streaming from your phone. So you can then join that with your other rooms to have audio and you don't have to have multiple speakers. It also has the preamp outputs so you can connect it to a more powerful amplifier or active speakers and use the subwoofer output for your active sub and you can really get your system going at a higher level if you have a bigger room perhaps or bigger floor standing speakers. So why would I use one of these instead of a Sonos amp for example? Well this one is only $570 instead of $650 so that's quite a bit of savings um, and you don't have to be in the Sonos uh, e ecosystem. I have Sonos speakers in my room. I can actually combine them though. So I can have this in my bedroom here where I have had it all morning long and also stream to the Sonos speaker in my kitchen. They're in sync. Everything is playing everywhere and that's cool. But for you know, your TV audio behind your TV, this will do really well. I'll tell you that I've had Sonos in this house for a couple years and my wife has never downloaded the Sonos app. She uses uh, YouTube and AirPlay and that's all she does with it. And this doesn't need an app. She can use it exactly the way she's been using it. So it makes a lot of sense to take care of that situation where you want music in different rooms um, and you're just using your apps on your phone. So those are some of my thoughts on the Vessel A.1 single zone music system. I, I like it. You should probably check it out. Link's in the bottom.